So I appreciate the kudos. One of my listeners. Yeah. Nuclear now. I, I One of my listeners was actually like, Chris, you should start. I know you don't like gambling, but you should start playing lotto or going to the casino because you've been calling a lot of stuff. A day after, a day after we uh, reported on, you know, the direction, um, the fact that we were ex- excited about what the country should do in regards to nuclear reopening Three Mile Island. Look at this. How about it? Capitalism solves many of our problems, does it not? 14 of the world's biggest banks and financial institutions are pledging to increase their support for nuclear energy. You don't say. You don't say. The technology is there. The modular reactors are there. The reason why you're not seeing a lot when it comes to uh, major investments in these areas is because, uh, again, why would you want to compete against the federal government and federal Dictats, especially if you're a big bank. Um, at an event that uh, took place uh, in uh, New York, actually had climate policy advisor John Podesta. Okay, the Biden administration is caving on this. Uh, bank of America, Barclays, BNP, uh, City, uh, Morgan Stanley, Goldman Sachs said they will support a goal first set out. Uh, geez, a while ago when it came to nuclear energy and what they wanted done by 2050, um, public support is heading in this direction. It is the answer. And again, I can't stress this enough. You lead the world. You lead the world in energy like this and you lead the world in inexpensive energy. Businesses are going to flock here. It's it's really simple, people. You lower costs here in the United States to do business. Again, why wouldn't you? Why wouldn't you? The only issue you might have is in regards to whether or not the labor force is going to be large enough here in the United States. And again, if we had a coherent uh, immigration policy here in the United States where we were bringing in legal immigrants and training people properly for these various different jobs that are coming down the pike. Away we go. We might get back to that point in time where we could start seeing 4% plus growth on an annual basis. Watchdog on WallStreet.com.